Three, two, one. I'm Henry Tenenbaum. I'll be reviewing the movie that won top honors at the Cannes Film Festival this year. It has a provocative title. It's called Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Why do these tapes all have women's names on them? Well, I, I enjoy interviewing women more than men. Oh. It's iced tea. Thanks. Do you want, I'm sorry, do you, want, do you want some lemon? No, this is perfect. This is perfect. So all of these are... I want to start by shooting down a couple of false rumors you might have heard about the movie Sex, Lies, and Videotape. First of all, it is not the story of a TV newsroom, at least no TV newsroom I've ever worked in. Also, it has nothing whatsoever to do with Rob Lowe. Sex, Lies, and Videotape is the movie that won top honors at the Cannes Film Festival, okay? And now to tell you what the movie is about, let's take them in order. First, the sex. I think the sex is overrated. I think that people place far too much importance on it. So there you have sex and lies. Andy McDowell plays a housewife who's lying to herself about sex. She's also being lied to by her husband, Peter Gallagher. He's having an affair with her sister, Laura San Giacomo. Afraid of getting caught? Yeah. You should be. Into this mix, along comes hubby's old college pal, James Spader. He inadvertently brings out all their lies about sex through videotape. See, he gets his kicks by videotaping interviews with women. What are the interviews about? The interviews are about sex. What about sex? Well, if you've got to ask, then you can't afford to let your guard down. But of course she does, and down come crashing all the hang-ups and all the lies. Let's make a videotape. How do we start? Load a tape and turn on the camera. First time writer, director, and editor Steven Soderbergh has kept it strong but simple. A film with fine acting, lots of dialogue that never lags, almost no nudity but plenty of sensuality, and even a sense of humor. Being happy isn't all that great. I mean, the last time I was really happy, I got so fat. Now, you know, low-budget films like this usually feel cheap, but in this case, the rough edges give it a sort of respectable voyeuristic feel. Sex, Lies, and Videotape gets an 8 out of 10. It is one of those rare films that deals with sex but doesn't exploit it. I'm Henry Tenenbaum.